Growing up, I distinctly remember using the fresh smelling ivory smoke my dad would buy. It was cheap, as far as bars of soap go, but man, did it do the job. The soap would lather up quite nicely with a wash rag, and seemed to wash off leaving me with a satisfaction of cleanliness. Don't get me wrong, I've tried other soaps throughout my life, but they always seem to leave a film over my skin. Into my adult life, I continued to purchase the same ivory soap my father ingrained in me. That is, until I met my lovely girlfriend, Suzanne. About a year ago, I met Suzanne. She was stunning from head to toe. The first time I met Suzanne, she was wearing a beautiful red dress. Her dress was coupled with a star-like gold necklace that draped her chest like blankets of snow on Christmas Eve. Along with these stunning compliments came her skin, smooth as silk. I wondered for a long time how she kept herself so clean. I found out just how she did it once she moved in. Shortly after Suzanne's relocation to my apartment, we were enjoying a peaceful shower together. During the shower is when Suzanne introduced me to heaven and hell wrapped in a cardboard box. She opened a small, green box with the label, Porous, written in bold black letters across the front and sides. Suzanne said she'd been using this soap for several years now and asked if I'd be interested in trying it out. Of course, in the midst of our sensual gathering of shampoo, sweat, and lovemaking, I would have been a fool to deny the idea of lathering up with her. Suzanne opened the box and removed a rectangular bar of white and green colored soap. I thought to myself, this would be another failed attempt at getting clean, but at this point, I wasn't here for the usual experience of a mundane shower. I watched as the love of my life began to rub her hands together getting a bubbly mixture of soap and water along the way. Suzanne told me to turn around and close my eyes. I complied with her wish and began to hear her hum. It sounded as though the angels themselves were singing to me. I relaxed as she stood behind me and began rubbing my back. Immediately, I felt pleasure. As if the weight of my entire life had been lifted from my shoulders, it began with a warm feeling, warmer than love I felt for Suzanne. Soon enough, however, that feeling was joined with another. Pain. Pain in my shoulders. Pain in my back. Everywhere Suzanne seemed to touch. The pain. It was dull, almost ignorable. Especially when coupled with that beautiful warmth. Suzanne whispered in my ear, Turn around, but keep your eyes closed. I want you to truly feel. Again, my body obeyed her command. This time, the pain was heavier. No longer dull, but almost as if a hot needle was prying my skin open. Apparently, Suzanne saw me flinch, because she quickly reminded me to keep my eyes closed. Quickly, the pain began to rise. I could no longer stand it. I opened my eyes and was greeted with what most would call their worst nightmare. The pores all over my body had been opened up several millimeters wide. My pores were large enough to give me the appearance that I had been peppered with a buckshot. Suzanne clearly saw the horror stoon across my face and began to beg that I relax. She said that if I don't relax, then the eggs won't settle. I began to panic as those words raced through my mind rapidly failing. Mental infrastructure. Suzanne began to hum again and I could feel my body shudder with orgasmic goosebumps. I looked my love in the eyes and asked what was happening to me. Suzanne told me she just wanted me to be like her. She wanted me to experience heaven and hell. I looked down at my now shotgun painted skin suit. The holes looked beautiful under the dim bathroom light. Even now, I can see they are closing up to their normal size. Soon the pain began to subside, but the pleasure remained. I asked Suzanne what the eggs contained. 
Suzanne expressed that I would find out soon enough. I only need to wait till morning before I will be greeted with the joy of heaven. She said I've already experienced the hell of it. I relaxed at Suzanne's hymn continued to envelop my world. I no longer use ivory soap. In fact, I no longer clean my body at all. Porous is all I need in my life. I love the gift I have been given. As I sit here and write this, I see a small transparent appendages escaping through some pores on my arm. Suzanne was right. Heaven is here. <laughs>